Okay, I have some some uh, rather somewhat somewhat embarrassing um, the observations I've made with uh, using copper therapy, but also also it's it's uplifting too. I really I really like the effects of what copper have been doing, and I just want to make note of that. So yeah, uh, if it could be proven wrong, you know, I definitely welcome it. All right. But uh, based on, on what I've noticed, I've I've uh, I've been using these little copper rods, which you could get at a Home Depot or Lowe's. They're just the wires, and I suppose they're used for electricity. They're like your thickest wire you could buy at these stores. And I, I started a, a few weeks ago. I started putting them in the in the crotch and like the folds uh, where you know things meet and, and all that. Because I had, I only need to put it on one side, really, because it was just one side that I had a bad fungal infection, and it it started, it started burning for a few days. I'd put it in maybe 15 minutes at a time every day, and it burned in that time, and it, there would be some some itching as a result of the burning. I felt bumps there, and and then over time. They just started disappearing. The itching started to go away, and st uh, the burning went away. In fact, I put these on both sides of, of uh, like you know where the you know the the sensitive parts are of uh, both sides of the the crotch for me. And one side was was actually fungal clear, fungus clear, and one and one the other side did have the fungus. And I'm talking about a fungus that's lasted for years since my since my late twenties. It was off and on, and I'm forty. I just have it I I've tried so many other things but when I I put it on both sides just for just for symmetry purposes I never had a problem on the right on the right side and the the right side never burnt never itched or anything never had the irritation feeling but the left side did and it it, it gives me the impression that the fungus it, over the years or something was was establishing itself in my skin which could possibly lead to cancer for all I know but I never had any problems on the right side all kinds of problems on the left side and I kept at it I kept putting it in there I kept putting this wire in there and after maybe a week or so uh, the problem went away I continually every so often put these down there uh, but these seem to override I need to clean because before this, before using these, I was I, I tried all kinds of things. My I got advice that I needed to clean more, which I, I did. I spent many weeks trying to clean it with uh, a wet paper towel and some soap and water and all that. Cleaning isn't enough. I tried crazy ideas like salt or I, the first time when I was in my late twenties, I tried tea tree oil. And that didn't really, that just burnt and it was painful, salt is painful, and, and I even tried garlic, of all things. And these things, they just made it worse, alright? Um, cleaning it, sunning it, uh, try to find a private spot to put, to, to, to expose it to sun. Yes, it's a fungus, it dries, it dries out, it, the sun can affect it, and it, do, it did, I, I, I think off and on you know but things it just started coming back I needed a more long-term solution and I think as you know I using these as I sit down um, in my car I just slip them put them in there and there you go it, it uh, and I it's it's got a burn smell this this uh, this copper in general just copper copper wire has a burn smell especially if you rub it good it's got this weird. It's a unique smell. There's there's something about this, this uh, uh, whatever you call it, uh, material. Um, the something about the wire that's in it that's that could kill fungus. All right, it's done a it's done a really good job. I haven't needed to worry about having to keep the area clean as much. I just wipe and you know sometimes there's green down there, but that's how copper. Um, that's how copper uh, degrades, it turns to green. But I have positive, I've noticed positive effects using these just on, on, on that fungus. And so I also have a fungus, I have two, two spots where I have bad fungus. And it's in the crotch and then in between the toes. And when the toes get itchy and nasty, I'll itch them with, 
with copper and that, that seems to improve it. Uh, but the, the most noticeable has been in the crotch. And also I've, I've gone further with this and also I've played around with this, okay? Now, I, I don't like to say I, I have a big, um, what's the word? Uh, it's, it's the prostate. I don't have a big prostate problem, but I've, I've put this up, up, uh, in, in my, in my, in the, the sphincter region and pressed on it with this. And, uh, I've noticed a remarkable difference. Uh, when I, when I wake up in the morning, I don't, I don't have such a strong need to pee. Okay. So this, this pressing on, on, uh, the prostate has, as is a mechanical thing. It's like you either stretch it out or something. You work that, work that muscle and I've, I've gotten that relief because there, before I was using this a few weeks ago, it was, it was like I've, I've had strong needs to pee and it, it, was, it was really annoying because uh, when I sleep in my car, I have long distances to walk. So this has been a great therapy and I was able to fit magnets inside. Um, you don't, I don't have to use this every day, all right? I, it's maybe once a week. You don't have to go crazy with anything like this. Just just push push and for for a few minutes and then you're good. And then one one thing I noticed with this with the copper and this is just a plumbing pipe thing. With the copper, it, and now this is just an observation, but uh, I, I was I was uh, stick. Let's say I was sticking other things up up there. Uh, the, the magnet, the cow magnets with a plastic bag around it. And, and it would it would stink really bad, but uh, I, I don't put any covering over this copper, okay? And uh, it doesn't stink as bad as uh, with plastic. Now, could the copper be killing bacteria in my in my rectum? Um, it's possible. I mean, I it's possible that m maybe maybe the prostate uh, it swells up as a result of infection. Okay, that's I think that's something to consider because there there's this product called the Aneros, Aneros A N E R O S. I actually bought one when I was in my 30s and tried it, and I I felt ill after using that. It's a plastic device, and there's no way I'm going to use plastic anymore. Okay, so now I got some neighbors here. Uh, just I'll just say that these are my observations, and um. You know, take them as they are, okay?